Also here I see notice from the NPM that there is new minor version of NPM available. And my current version is 7.6.0 and the newer version is 7.8.0. And notice difference in second section here. 8 is greater than 6. And this section is actually indicator of the minor version. This section is major version. I'll get back to it a bit later in this crash course. For now I could go ahead and update the version of the npm using this command. Let me do that quickly. Let me copy this command here and paste it here directly in the terminal. npm is being updated. Let's wait a bit. npm was successfully updated and I could now recheck version of the npm and now it is 7.8.0. Wonderful. Let's now list the contents of this TMP folder and I see only single file package.json. If I read contents of this file, I'll see actual JSON object with same contents that were presented at the end of the npm init process. Now please open up this TMP folder in your favorite code editor. I recommend to you use Visual Studio Code and that's what I will use right now. If you installed VS Code before, you should have such command as code available in the terminal here. And if I enter code and dot that represents current folder, this folder will be automatically opened in the VS Code. Let me do that. VS Code is opening and here it is. Here I see welcome page, let me close it like that. And now here I see same picture as in the terminal, there was just single file package.json in the TMP folder. If I click on it, I see contents in JSON format. Great, that's start of our project. 